What's good, everyone? Good morning. Um, this is kind of just an impromptu uh, video that I wanted to share with you guys. It's a little after, uh, it's about 6.40 now. But, um, man, I was just, uh, you know, kind of doing my Devo, my prayer time this morning. And um, Man, it just occurred to me, like, you know, I'm going through um, the Old Testament right now. I'm, I'm in the, the last book of Moses in Deuteronomy, right? And um, it just, I just, man, I really felt like the Lord pressed on my heart. Like, don't forget where you came from. Like, don't, not don't forget where you came from, but don't forget what I saved you from. And I just, uh, I was having a, a text exchange last night with a friend that kind of like brought up um, like some old, just kind of some old memories from, you know, 15 years ago when I was living in Los Angeles, right? And, you know, thinking back on those times, like I always have a, a different uh, perspective on that sometimes than maybe what's really going on or what, what it really was, you know? And I, I, I relate that to the Israelites um, coming out of Egypt, right? How like here is God like delivering them from slavery in a massive way, right? But every time they come out, they end up complaining again and grumbling and thinking about like the good old days, you know? Um, and I don't, I wasn't doing that this morning. I wasn't thinking about the good old days like that, but I was wondering like what some people that I associated with were up to, you know? And it's just crazy though, to look back at those times and to know what I wanted at that time. Right. When I moved to Los Angeles, like I wanted, uh, you know, I, I wanted notoriety I wanted fame, I wanted money, I wanted power, like all that stuff, right? I wanted the world, I wanted worldly things. And it's crazy now to get a look into not just salvation, right? Like we're talking eternity, but what the Lord saved me from. Like the life I could be living right now versus the life I get to live. And I'm, I'm not talking about, like, uh, material things and, um, you know, worldly prospering, right? But I'm talking about, like, peace and joy and my marriage and my children and, um, you know, work, whether it be, like, my actual vocation or just things in general, that I get to do that are so fruitful, right? Like the things I get to do with people now and that Christ is the center and the focal point of these things. Um, man, it just really hit me hard and I just wanted to share it with you guys. I know it's a little different than a lot of the, the training stuff I've been putting up here, but man, I just felt like I had to share it, you know? So I just want to encourage you guys, you know, to my fellow believers, like, don't forget, you know, like, without him, we are nothing. But, like, don't forget what he saved you from. All right. So that's all I got for you this morning. Y'all keep doing your thing. Lord bless.